How to do glass fusing. The art of fusing different glasses together can be used to create sculptures, jewelry, dishware, and other beautiful pieces. Despite the intricate appearance of fused glass, the process of fusing glass together is quite simple. With the right tools and safety gear and a bit of practice, you can learn how to fuse glass into dazzling works of art. Preparing to fuse. Gather the glass you want to use. If you're using different types of glass, make sure they have the same coefficient of expansion co. Glasses with different COEs will crack during the cooling process. To test the compatibility of two separate glasses, fuse two small pieces of them together and then let them cool. If you notice any cracks or evidence of stress in the glass, you know the two glasses have different COEs, too. Clean your glass using a cleaning agent. Make sure the cleaning agent you use is designed specifically for glass. Spray your glass with the cleaner and wipe off any dirt, oil, dust, or residue on the glass with a clean towel. This will prevent your final product from looking spotted or foggy when it comes out of the kiln. Find a kiln to do your fusing in. Use a small kiln if you're only planning on doing a few minor fusing projects. If you're going to be using it a lot and you want to work on several projects at once, consider investing in a larger kiln. Whatever size you choose, make sure it has an accurate temperature monitor on the outside. Opt for a kiln that's designed specifically for firing glass. If you can't find a kiln designed for glass, you can use a kiln meant for ceramics, but the results might not be as good. 5. Get a kiln shelf. Make sure it can withstand temperatures of up to 1,700 degrees Fahrenheit 927 degrees Celsius. The kiln shelf is what you'll set your glass on when you're ready to fuse it in the kiln. You can find a kiln shelf online or at your local ceramic store. Choose a few slumping molds to shape your glass. Your molds should also be able to withstand high temperatures of up to 1,700 degrees Fahrenheit 927 degrees Celsius because you'll be putting your glass on them and setting them in the kiln. The slumping molds you use will determine the shape of your glass after you fuse it in the kiln. Shop online or in store to find molds that you like. Apply a glass separator to keep your glass from sticking when you fuse it. Use a fiber paper that can withstand high temperatures, or use a kiln primer and wash it off after it sets. Apply your glass separator of choice to your kiln shelf and any molds you plan on using so your glass comes off easily. Purchase the basic safety equipment. Get a pair of safety glasses and fusing gloves so you don't injure yourself during the fusing process. Invest in some cheap dust masks to protect your lungs from dangerous dust and glass particles in the air. Shop for these items at your local hardware store or order them online. Get the necessary glass cutting tools. Use a quality glass cutter that has a comfortable grip. You'll also need cutting pliers. Running pliers. Running pliers are used to apply pressure on the glass so score lines break evenly. 11. Grosing pliers. Grosing pliers are used to chip away pieces of glass that you don't want before you begin fusing. 12. Breaking pliers. Breaking pliers are used to break glass apart along the lines you've scored. 13. 